you've got a UV printer and you've got a laser, now what? Do you cut and then print or print and then cut? That's the question. Chances are if you've got a really big job, print and cut's probably your answer. And if you've got light burn with the print and cut feature, it's going to save you a lot of time. Let me show you how. It'd be great if you did all the things, liked, subscribed, and then went over and followed my Fire and Ink UV Printing and Laser Facebook group, and let's get started. This tutorial is specific for setting up print and cut. I won't be going over how to design laser or print files. If you're not comfortable with those skills, you'll want to go follow some tutorials specific to your design program, and then come back here once you're comfortable, and I'll get you set up with print and cut. Print and cut is actually pretty easy once you understand what you're doing. And what you're doing is just creating two files. One file to tell your printer what to print and then print it. And then another file to send to your laser to tell it where to cut around what you've already printed. And the key component in both of those are reference points. So you can see the reference points I've created here. It's just a circle with two lines drawn through them um, with the lines centered directly in the circle. We'll call them crosshairs. And I have one on the upper left and one on the lower right. I like to put them opposite sides diagonal to each other I feel like I get more of an accurate cut that way and we're gonna save two files like I said one for your printer your printer file is gonna look like this I save all my printer files as PDFs you'll save it as whatever type of file that your printer requires and you're gonna print your crosshair and your design on your material today we're gonna use clear acrylic so we're gonna print this directly onto the acrylic and then we're going to save a second file as a SVG. That's how I save all of my laser files, whatever you typically save your laser files as. You're going to have the crosshairs on that file as well. And you're going to have your outline around your design that you're going to cut. I like to have my crosshairs as a different color, and you'll see why once we pull it into Lightburn. So let's go. Send all your files where they need to go. Get your RIP software set up and print. I'm printing this on my Mamaki 6042 UV printer, and I'm printing it on a big sheet of clear acrylic. Now that I have the design all printed and I have my targets on either side, it looks good and it's ready to go to the laser. I like to lay my material as straight as I can on the laser. It just helps line everything up and then get into light burn and start setting up your print and cut. First, I'm gonna edit my file just a little bit. I'm gonna ungroup everything and I'm gonna change my cut lines to black because that's my default acrylic cuts and I have all of my settings saved under those. So we'll change those to black and then I'm gonna select my targets and I'm gonna change those to a tool path. Those are the T1 and T2s at the bottom. That just means they won't cut or engrave, they're just a tool. Let's ungroup the targets now. We wanna make sure we don't move anything when we do this, but ungroup them. That way I can select them individually when I go to set up my print and cut wizard. Decide what target you wanna start with and then manually on your laser keypad, move your red dot pointer over that target. I'm gonna start on the upper left, so I'm gonna line it up. And if you need to move the material just a little bit, you can do that with the first target, just don't do it with the second target. You'll wanna get it dead center within the crosshairs, just like you see here. Once you have it centered, you're going to select that target in your design, go up to laser tools, print and cut, and start wizard. Now that you've set that first target, you'll notice that your target turns into a red circle. Now you can move on to setting your second target. Really all you should have to do is select the second target on the design and then select jog. Your laser should automatically move to that second target on the material. It should get pretty close, but you may need to adjust it just a little bit by nudging it back and forth. If it doesn't jog over there on its own, you can do it manually using the laser keypad on your laser. Now we've got both targets selected. One's red, one's blue. It's gonna ask you if you'd like to scale. I always select no scaling, and we're about ready to start cutting. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, so let's make sure that this is gonna line up pretty decent. I like to select my entire design without selecting either of the targets, and then I just do a quick frame to make sure it looks like it's gonna line up pretty well. Another thing that you can do, and I like to do most of the time, is ungroup my design without moving anything, and then I select one element of that design, and I do a quick frame around that as well. It just gives you a better idea if things are gonna line up and look good at the end. 
Now it's time to cut. Select your entire design and you can group it back together or you can just select it. Don't forget the tiny little holes at the top of your earrings. Ask me how I know how. And I like to send it directly to my laser and hit start from my laser keypad, but you can hit start from light burn if you're comfortable with that. And you're gonna know pretty quick if you lined everything up accurately. If you took the time to line up your targets precisely and you laid your material straight and flat on the bed, you're gonna probably have a good result. And now you've got a bunch of pickle earrings. I hope this tutorial helped. Let me know if you have any questions and please give me a follow. Thanks.